The problem with Suella Braverman's safe and legal route is that they don't appear to be terribly safe and they don't appear to be terribly legal and they don't give people any form of security. So Afghans have come to the UK, not all of them, not all of them, there's still plenty of Afghans who we left behind because of Dominic Raab's stupidity and insistence on getting his tan up in Crete, slapping on more factor eight rather than doing his job. And Suella Braverman is picking up that initiative. So now the Home Office is moving Afghan refugees who probably haven't all been processed anyway, so they can't apply for proper um, rent. They almost certainly don't have uh, an income because they can't do a job. Uh, so they're caught in a catch-22 situation uh, where they're not quite part of our society, and yet they're not, they don't belong anywhere else. They are literally refugees. They're caught in this trap of the Home Office's making. And they're now moved on for yet another time with almost no notice. The children have settled into schools and they're now uprooted yet again. Now we could say, oh well, we shouldn't be keeping refugees or asylum seekers in hotels. Absolutely not. We should be allowing asylum seekers or refugees to work as soon as possible. We should be processing them as quickly as possible and we should give them as much dignity as possible and treat them as our guests, which is what they are. Instead, under Suella Braverman's Home Office, we're treating them like prisoners. And then we're telling them that if you don't accept the uh, accommodation that we're offering you, then you get nothing. You're out on your ear. This is appalling. It's appalling enough that we didn't help all the Afghans who helped us. It's significantly more appalling, I think, that, we, that those who are here, we are treating with such contempt. Now, I know various people in the comments section have said, well, uh, they shouldn't be kept in hotels and they are a drain on our system. Well, they're wrong, I'm afraid. We have a responsibility, not only because these people appealed to us for help, but also because they, in turn, almost certainly were involved in helping us in our endeavours in Afghanistan, which we messed up. Now, we can blame America, we can blame Biden, we can blame Trump. But in the end, there are individuals caught up in this. And those are the people that we're now moving around the country from hotel to hotel, from place to place, because we can't make up our mind what we're doing because the Home Office hasn't processed their asylum application properly. I don't think we can have any anything but contempt for Suella Bravman and for the way she manages the Home Office.